the New York Yankees and the Mets both playing tremendous baseball right now, especially the New York Yankees. Is there a better city to be a baseball fan in right now other than New York City? A month ago, you could have argued, yeah, Los Angeles. Not anymore. The Angels have been atrocious. The place to be is New York. The Yankees have been fantastic. The Mets have been incredible. Both of them. And they've been doing it in all different ways. And they've all been doing it in ways that we didn't expect. Let's start with the New York Yankees. The Yankees have been getting it done from their pitching. The pitching staff has been phenomenal. Coming into this year, if somebody were to tell you the New York Yankees are going to be the best team in baseball through uh, two months of the year, what would you have assumed is carrying them? The offense, obviously. No. It's been the pitching. Yeah, the offense has been good. Aaron Judge is playing like an MVP. But the pitching staff has been phenomenal. The last four games for the Yankees starters, and this was over the weekend. Nestor Cortez went seven innings, five hits, no earned runs. Jamison Tyon took a perfect game late into the game. Eight innings pitched, two hits, one earned. Garrett Cole ends up seven innings pitched, two hits, no earned. That's late into the game, took a perfect game. Luis Severino, seven innings pitched, one hit, no earned runs. Unbelievable what the Yankees have been doing. They've become the fourth team to allow 10 or fewer base runners in a three-game span since 1901. I don't know if you remember that, Producer Conrad. 1901. That's a long time ago. I, I don't remember that. But they become the first team since 1901 to do that, including today, the Yankees have held their opponents to four runs or less in 11 straight games. They lead Major League Baseball in Team ERA at a 2.74. Say that one more time. 2.74. One more? One more. 2.74 Team ERA. It leads baseball. Their whip also leads baseball, 1.04. That's a good recipe for success. They also are the first team in the expansion era to be the first team to have back-to-back starters in back-to-back games take a perfect game into the seventh inning or later. I was locked in on both of those. We almost dropped in an emergency flipping bats pod because of that. We would have had to. It got jinxed, though. It got jinxed because everybody in the world, don't get me started. I will go in on this. I, I'm tired of the jinxes, but it did. It got jinxed. I even had I even have friends texting me now intentionally jinxing, but that's a different story for a different day. But this has been incredible. And if you th- if you hear before the year starts that the Yankees rotation is going to be one of the best in baseball, you probably think Garrett Cole is being Garrett Cole and is the best of the best in baseball. Guess what? He ha- he hasn't been the best on that team. Gary Cole, 5-1 and one with a 2.78 ERA. That's great. Nestor Cortez, 5-1 and one with a 1.5 ERA. That's incredible. Jamison Tyon, 6-1 and one with a 2.3. Luis Severino, 4-1 and one with a 2.95. Jordan Montgomery, the worst of the bunch with a 3.02 ERA. That's the starting rotation. The back end of the bullpen. Let's talk about that for a second. The Yankees are 31 and 0 this year when entering the seventh inning with a lead. 31 and 0. Clay Holmes has been phenomenal. Holmes this season, 4 and 0 with a 0.34 ERA, 8 saves and a 0.68 whip. 28 strikeouts in 26 and 2 thirds innings. Clay Holmes was announced today as the AL Reliever of the Month for May. Here were his stats in that month. 14 innings pitched, a 0.00 ERA, pretty good, pretty good. 15 Ks, zero walks, a 0.57 whip. Four out of four in save opportunities. 
perfect, if you will. Perfect. The Yankees are doing it, and they're doing it because of their pitching. Yes, their superstars have been great. Aaron Judge is in MVP form. Giancarlo Stanton was out for a little while, but he's been good. Anthony Rizzo feels like he's hitting a bunch of clutch homers. DJ LeMahieu has been really good. Defensively, they've been different. They have speed as well. This team is complete, but they are complete because the pitching staff has not only been better than expected, it has been historically good. And that's not a stretch to say. So over in New York, on one side, you got the Yankees doing their thing. But on the other side of New York, you have the New York Mets, who are playing like the best team in the National League. And they've been doing it totally differently. And like I said at the top of this segment, both of these teams are doing it differently and different than you would have expected to start the year. If you had heard when the lockout ended and it's, okay, baseball, go. If you had heard the Mets were going to be the best team in the National League, you would think, wow, Jacob deGrom and Max Scherzer, they got to be killing it. Well, guess what? Jacob deGrom hasn't thrown a pitch this year, and Max Scherzer's been out for a little while with an injury as well. Everybody else has stepped up. Tyler McGill stepped up to start the year. He was fantastic. He actually got hurt as well. Chris Bassett has stepped up. Carrasco's been good. The offense. Everybody is helping everybody. It's like ELE. Everybody love everybody. Well, everybody's helping everybody there. This is what's different about this Mets team. They have guys that are capable of picking everybody else up. Last year, Pete Alonso and, and Francisco Lindor, they were tasked with carrying the team. And when they weren't doing it, well, they weren't very good. Lindor, he wasn't very good last year. Well, guess what? Those guys have been better this year. Pete Alonso is the only player in all of baseball since 2019 with 100 or more homers and 300 or more RBIs. The only player in baseball. He has officially entered the top 10 on the Mets' all-time home run list. His 122 career home runs are tied with Kevin McReynolds for 10th place. At his current pace, Alonzo would rank 6th in Mets history by season's end. Daryl Strawberry holds the record with 252. So you have Alonzo playing well. He had 30 RBIs, by the way, in the month of May. 30. That's pretty good. You have Lindor playing better. But then there's the other guys. You don't have to rely on those two. Eduardo Escobar, Starling Marte, Mark Canna, Jeff McNeil. They've been really good when they need to be. They've picked up other guys. They're capable of carrying a team on their own. If they need to, not carrying an entire team, but like if other guys are struggling, they're capable of stepping in and getting wins for the Mets. The New York Mets have been really good. They've been a lot of fun, and it hasn't been how we expected it to happen. But that's often how you get the best teams. They play well when, you, when you're not expecting it, when they have stuff going on that you wouldn't expect. They step up and they do it in a way that you wouldn't expect. And then guess what? In a couple of months or a month, or I don't know the exact date, I'm also not a doctor, but you're going to get the guys back that are going to help you do what you expected to do. Jacob deGrom, Max Scherzer, they're going to come back at some point. Would you have expected this team to be this good without them? Would you have expected to be this good and to go into Dodger Stadium and split a series with the best team on paper in baseball without DeGrom and without Scherzer? No, but I promise you it builds that confidence. So come October, when these two teams are certainly in the playoffs, guess what? Hey, we're good enough to compete with the Dodgers without our two aces? Now we have our two aces? Oh, that builds confidence like no other. So baseball is reigning supreme in New York City, in the Bronx, and in Queens. It's just a lot of fun to watch baseball there. So shout out to the Yankees. Shout out to the Mets for doing it. 
doing it better than anybody and doing it in a way that we didn't expect it to be done. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.